Good day grade 4 little scientists. I'm Teacher V, your science terrific buddy. Are you ready to learn? Let's go. Can you still remember our lesson on mixtures? Let's play 4 picks 1 word. Learning Objectives Identify changes in materials whether useful or harmful to one's environment. Specifically 1. Identify changes in materials that are useful or harmful to one's environment. 2. Determine whether the change in the material is harmful or useful in the environment. 3. Describe the harmful and beneficial effects of the changes in the materials to the environment. There are interactions that lead to changes in the materials found in our home and in our environment. Different materials in the environment change. The consequences or effects of such changes may either be beneficial or harmful to the environment. Beneficial changes. Changes are beneficial if they are favorable or advantageous to the environment. Harmful changes. Changes are harmful if they cause pollution to the water, land, and air. Let's identify if the following changes are beneficial or harmful to the environment. Some of the useful changes in materials are as follows. Cutting a piece of cloth to be made into handkerchief. Cutting a fabric to be made into clothes. Cutting and shaping pieces of wood or lumber into chairs and furnitures. Changing wood into charcoal for cooking. Growing plants in the backyard.
the beneficial changes are helpful to keep the environment clean and more adaptable for humans, plants, and animals to live. This will lead to activities in food production and maintenance of a clean and green environment. Some of the harmful changes in materials are as follows. Burning of old tires and other plastic materials or trash. Throwing of kerosene and detergents into the sewage. Cutting of trees. Dumping of wastes to bodies of water. Using aerosol and pesticides. The harmful changes may result in pollution that may affect humans, plants, and animals negatively. When land, air, and water are polluted, it causes sickness or diseases. We must be responsible in our actions. Make a useful change, not a harmful one. Draw a smiley face if it shows a beneficial change for the environment and sad face if it shows a harmful change. You have one minute to answer this. Take a look at the answers. Did you get the correct answers? Job well done. You're awesome. Congratulations. We're done with our lesson today. Don't forget to visit our Facebook group at 1 p.m. for your formative tasks. Remember to visit also our Google Classroom tomorrow and Friday for your worksheet and quiz for this week. See you next video.